from mm-hmm. Brock and Drew and for it to go a bit longer and, you know, um, I, I guess, it, and it remains to be seen where we go from here. Um, mm-hmm. But, you know, great, great moment. Again, feel great, feel good moment. It was, it was mm-hmm. the right decision. It was great to see, you know, Drew lifting the belt. Um, first champion, first United Kingdom champion, first Scottish champion. Mm-hmm. Um, and on a side note, my gosh, aren't the, aren't the Scots doing well in WWE at the moment? Yeah, you've got, yeah, you know, you've got yeah. five, five champions, all of Scottish. Yeah, they're doing all well all over, on. to be honest with you. I was a count on the other day, even on the independent circuit of... Uh... Scottish people holding the belts at the moment, so it's great. I mean, like you got yeah, Drew at the top. You well. got Drew at the top. You've got Gallus who held the UK tag mm-hmm. titles. You've got Nikki, yeah. who's one half of the women titles, and mm-hmm. uh, Kaylee raised the NXT UK Women's yeah. Champion. So it's it's it's, it's phenomenal. Um, so yeah, and and all credit to all those people as well. Very mm-hmm. well deserving. Um, so yeah, you know, um, I'm elated and not deflated, but I just I I wanted more for Drew. But would would you let me ask you quickly? Would you have um would you have had this on at the end, or would you have changed it? Knowing <laughs> no, because obviously when I went into this, I thought well, if this is at the end, this is going to be a bit longer kind of match. Yeah. But I was quite shocked when it was over. Yeah, um, so I think fast, no, but... I think I think it needed. To, it's still uh, my personal opinion, mm-hmm. although. I'm sure two years ago we didn't get it. My personal opinion, the 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 the, the title should always close out WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. Now I know they didn't do that a couple of years back when they did Reigns and Undertaker, wasn't it? That closed yeah, out yeah, WrestleMania yeah. one year. But I always think a title match should mm-hmm. close WrestleMania. So mm-hmm. like last year when it was the women's title, I had no yeah. problem with that because you know yeah. it was it was the you know and especially since both women's titles were on mm-hmm. the line. Um, so yeah, and I always think the title match should close out should close mm-hmm. out WrestleMania. So I think it was the right thing to put it on last. Mm-hmm. Um, I just. I, again, I think my expectation was it was going to be longer. There was going to be more of a fight to it. Um, yeah. So you know, there was going to be a bit more back and forth. And uh, but I'm I'm still happy with the result. I think you know, Drew Drew on top is 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 great. Yeah. So um, yeah, I mean, for me in this one, uh, I um, I didn't. I, I really wanted to see Drew win. To be honest with you, um, just because I I think the sky's the limit with this guy. I think as a baby face and potentially he could always go back to being a heel as well. Mm. Like it wouldn't take a lot for that as well. So they've got kind of a nice bit of adaptability with this guy. Like there's a lot of flexibility with him going forward. Cause you could just yeah. imagine start tying his hair back, clean shave and drew, yeah. you know, Mr. Corporate. Um, yeah. So there's, there's lots of good things they can do, but you know what? Uh, you picked up on a really good point. How physically like taller and bigger than Brocky mm. looks like. I think even compared to like even Roman and Brock, they look kind of similar. But Drew, you can tell the height is uh, especially Absolutely. there, with him. Um, and that was Absolutely. quite. A, an I mean, I think part. I think one thing it did do, you know, give uh, at least I think with both title matches, if we go back mm. and just talk about Braun as well, mm-hmm. at least it's opened the door for some new champions now. Yeah, um, we have had a very similar picture over the last couple of years of mm-hmm. of the same four or five guys being champion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, and at least this WrestleMania has kicked open the door and said, "Actually, we've got some new guys now who you're going to see as our champions." And I think yeah, that's, that's a good uh, point. That's always a positive thing. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that uh, that was our very um, obviously this is one WrestleMania we're never going to forget, and no. uh, I'm pretty sure of that just just on the looks um, coming out of this. Like, a lot, I've had a lot of emails like people saying, "Do I think it was ultimately worth it?" Now we're at the other side blah blah blah. I mean, it's very difficult because in hindsight you can say lots of different things, can't you? But um, I think for me, I, I was always, it's kind of, it's admirable that WWE have still wanted to go ahead and do it. Um, no doubt about it. You, if you know Vince McMahon, this is a bloke that's not going to stop. <laughs> and this is absolutely tall. You know what I mean? He is never going to stop this stuff. Um, and uh, for me, the, the only thing I would say is I, I liked having the shows. I just, I don't know what it is. And it's probably my only negative is that I just wish it wasn't called WrestleMania. I mm. wish they'd have just had like a super show or whatever and had a lot of the 80% of what they were going to do at Mania, just put it on. Maybe maybe don't do the Drew Brock just because you want to see Drew as the Royal Rumble winner get the match yeah. in front of the big audience. But I think I would have just had it called something different, maybe have it like a charitable show. I, I don't know, something else. But the fact they had WrestleMania on it, just for me, just, I don't know. Uh, it didn't sit as well with me. Yeah, um, I mean, like I said, it, that, it, will go, it. It, will, it will go down as history as like the mm. weird cousin of all the other WrestleManias. <laughs> yeah, because it's absolutely. just you know, um, it's yeah, it just it it just stands alone slightly, doesn't it? As it's as yeah. its own kind of WrestleMania, and you know, 
Um, and that was, you know, a couple of weeks ago, I probably was in the camp of like, no, postpone it. Just don't bother. Mm-hmm. Just postpone it. You know, shut your TV off for a bit. And do But, you know, I think a lot of people did appreciate it. You know, we all need a bit of a distraction at the moment mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. from 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 the world and what's mm-hmm. going on. So I think the fact that they gave us, you know, six hours of something where we could stop having to worry about everything and just watch, you know, watch wrestling. I think it was, you know, I think you have to appreciate that too. So yeah, no, uh, absolutely. Now, uh, just before you go, where do you think WWE goes now? Cause there's a lot of different things out there. Vince is having meetings with a load of other sport representatives with Donald Trump in the coming week. Mm. Um, does Vince McMahon now suddenly have to say, okay, I'm going to have to stop for a little while. Yeah. Or are they still going to persist with having this? So, episonic tv show yeah. that of course has never stopped so i can see why he he wants to keep doing it because he doesn't want that record to suddenly stop but they could just put on network exclusive stuff if they yeah. really wanted i, I mean, mean there's a couple of ways to go around it, obviously like um because i don't know if raw last night was pre-taped it was yeah, it, was. it was so raw was pre-taped yeah. because orlando's gone in, has orlando gone into lockdown yeah, yeah so, that's gone into lockdown, so they filmed yeah. a load of stuff didn't they before yeah before mm-hmm. lockdown occurred. Um, so I'm assuming they on the days they filmed a lot of those matches, they filmed stuff for afterwards. Mm-hmm. So, um, so I don't really know. Do you know, I think it might be a case of that, you know, if, if lockdown continues and they can't physically film any more stuff, they may have to consider, you know, some clip shows of some, you know, mm-hmm. putting some retro matches on. I mean, I know if you ever watch impact every week, mm-hmm. they usually there's a seg, there's about a 20 minute segment in, impact where they put a retro tna match on yeah so whether they have to go back to doing that or they have to just film some more personal stuff of you know of of superstars filming some more personal bits and bobs or some more cinematic stuff you know Mm -hmm. like they've been doing um i don't know i think it's so like i said the world we're living in we were talking about jobs before this weren't we Mm -hmm. about we're in such an unprecedented time Mm -hmm. where you just can't predict so um but you know like i said if, if wwe do have to do some throwback stuff they've got so you know they've got 40 odd yeah. years of content to yeah, throw back on I mean. so, so you know um or piece together some other you know just piece together some interesting content based on their their, their old stuff yeah i kind of think that um i think sometimes like with this is they're looking over at their rivals aw a bit and i know that aw they taped enough stuff to go all the way to may yeah so i know that that's bothering them a little bit but again the difference with aw is they've got of course the uh you know tony khan's dad owns the jaguars they've got that stadium of course. And they were just able to shoot the whole thing. Whereas WWE, they haven't got that advantage of having their own location. And now, they're, you know, you are talking about bringing in people from all over the place, which ain't going to be easy anymore. So No, um, no, and, which is going to be yeah. really difficult to, to, to get yeah. people to fly, you know. I was, um, um, I was reading before we went on that uh, UFC president Dana White <laughs> has hired some kind of like private island to put the next UFC fight on. Amazing. And I was thinking, blimey, don't give Vince that idea. Wow. You know what will happen. He'll be out there on a ship somewhere. Wrestle you know, Island. Sailing there around, yeah. Um, but who knows? Um, you know, these knows? people, but, they, you know, they know no quit. But Although Vin- Vince and Trump are good friends, though, aren't they? So... Yes, exactly. You can almost. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just going to leave that statement out there and just say, is it? That's yeah, it is. I think that's worth. Uh, now, before you go, RJ, like, mm-hmm. let's just talk about you just quick, because um, I know you're busy. But, um, like, before all this happening, your career, like, how have you been doing? I mean, let's, let's talk a little bit about you on the UK scene. and yeah, I've just and been going been really... Yeah, yeah, I've been great. I mean, just before, you know, just in the beginning of last month, uh, mm-hmm. myself and Daryl Allen, uh, we became the first uh, resurgence right. tag team yes. champions, which yeah. was uh, which was an amazing, uh, amazing for us, you know, mm-hmm. um, to be back together and wrestling together and sort of uh, to become the inaugural champions of, of mm-hmm. a promotion, you know, of like resurgence, which is a promotion really on the rise at the moment. Sure. Um, so that was good. And the belts are beautiful. They're like some mm-hmm. of the most beautiful belts that I've ever seen. So it's been great. Uh, yeah, they are good. Great having that. Um, uh, 4FW is great. You know, I'm still, you know, um, the junior heavyweight champion of 4FW. I had, I had a, a heavyweight title shot scheduled for May, which is obviously mm-hmm. uh, on the back burner. So, yeah, things have been going really great, actually. Um, uh, FPW returned, one of my, mm-hmm. my, my very close to my heart promotions, uh, mm-hmm. FPW. We had a return in the beginning of May. Um, which was the last show that I performed on just before um, everything got cancelled. So mm-hmm. it's you know I was I, you know 2020 started really strong for me. Um, 
it's looking great, but yeah, I'm for, I'm just I'm at that stage. My wife was my wife was looking at our calendar on the wall to enjoy me across those those <laughs> she's been crossing out all the events that she was doing and now she's right, like, yeah. So putting a line for all the wrestling dates mm-hmm. that I you know, all the events that I had lined up for this month yeah. and, and into next month. So it's uh you know, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a real shame. And, you know, uh, my heart really goes out to a lot of, you know, a lot of my wrestling brothers who rely on who wrestling is their main source of income. Um, mm-hmm. It's their full-time jobs. And obviously they're not being able to do that at the moment. Mm-hmm. So um, my heart goes out to them. So, um, but hopefully, you know, hopefully this won't, this won't last forever. And I'm, I'm fingers crossed by the summer. Yeah, we'll absolutely. Be back to normal, absolutely. So. Because, uh, you know, the last I was out there, I tell you, the UK scene, I was saying this to someone the other day, I was literally having to pick between about five shows that I would go to on a weekend just because there was so much going on. Mm. And um, and when I talk about so much going on, I'm not talking about, you know, willy-nilly little things like we used to get in the UK where you'd turn up and there wasn't even a ring, that kind of stance, uh, just a crash mat or something. I'm talking about really well uh, really well ran professional wrestling. Do you know what I mean? And I've mm. never seen it as good and as professionally run between so many different promotions as it had been. Um, like really out of this world. Um, and I think like you know everyone was sort of worried about the whole NXT UK thing, but I think it's it's been it's only gone and made it better in a lot of ways yeah. because yeah. it's uh, it's making everyone challenge and they can. It's very Absolutely. tangible now to, to get to that next level has never looked so promising than it has probably in this day and age to be a UK wrestler. So, oh, of course. Yeah, um, absolutely. Yeah. Um, very exciting. Now, where can people find you out, RJ, on uh, all the social media? On the social media, uh, on, on Twitter is my main, my main thing. Yeah. Um, it's RJ Singh is King um, on Twitter um, and then Instagram as well, where it's a bit more of a mix. If you if check out my Instagram, it's a bit more of a mix of wrestling. And yep. also you get to see a lot of my daughter on, uh, on Instagram and that's King RJ Singh. Mm-hmm. Um, I'd have them both the same, but on Instagram, someone's taken RJ Singh as King. So yeah, I I really problem. irritatingly. And it's one of those ones where you look at it, you look at it as well. And it's like it's, it's, a, and it's an account that doesn't even post anything. And I'm like, so they're anyway, probably so they're probably go. waiting for you to pay them. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, no, uh, no. So fair. yeah, so yeah, uh, yeah. RJ Singh is King on Twitter, and uh, mm-hmm. King RJ Singh on uh, on uh, on Instagram. So. Absolutely. Right. Thank you very much. And thank you for your time for coming on, talking a bit of wrestling. Pleasure. It's been good to hear from you again. Uh, always good to, to catch up with you. Thank and, you. Thanks uh, for having me. Yeah. Stay safe, my friend. Cheers.